Hello and welcome to another look at how Veritas is solving the resiliency gap across every cloud. My name is Anthony Cusimano. I'm going to be your host today and joining me is Veritas's very own cloud architect, Tony Davids. Now he's going to be walking us through how we do granular recovery across Amazon, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, and how we really can solve for those resiliency issues across every cloud. So with that, Tony, why don't you show us a little bit on what we've done to NetBackup recently? Thank you, Anthony. We've got our NetBackup 9 environment connected to all three major clouds, like you said, AWS, Azure, and Google. I'm going to demonstrate uh, how we can do a granular file recovery from that right now. So here I'm logged into the web user interface. The, uh, I'm logged in as an administrator, so I have full access here so I can see lots of things in the environment. I'm going to jump over to the cloud workloads right now. And as I jump in here, I'll move over to our virtual machines. And I'm going to pick this AWS client. It happens to be a Red Hat Enterprise Linux client that I've connected to agentlessly. Uh, in that case, it makes it very easy to set it up. Uh, and I can do granular file recovery. You'll notice in the application column that it's in a connected state, which allows you to do that granular file recovery, which is the protection plan we have here. Uh, you can also see the last successful backup that we've done here. It was earlier this morning. So when I click into this client, all clients across all workloads will look the same, whether uh, it's in uh, any one of the three clouds or any of the uh, other workloads that we support here. So it's showing our protection plan that we're using for granular file recovery, its frequency and its retention and the uh, other aspects about it. We'll click into the recovery points here. And in the recovery points, uh, you can search for files and folders containing within any of these to find out whether or not any of these recovery points actually contain the information that you're looking for. When you search for it, the uh, only the ones that contain that information will be uh, displayed here. I'm going to jump into the most recent recovery point, and when I do here, uh, the first thing that happens is I'm brought into our wizard to walk you through that granular file recovery. First thing I do is add some files and folders to it. I can browse through things here on the left, over in this left-hand column, or I can search again over here on the right. I'll happen to be looking for a PDF. And when I hit the search functionality on here, I can look through at the different PDF files that I have here, grab one that I'm interested in, add it to my shopping cart, and then move on to the uh, next parts of the recovery in the wizard. I can restore it to the same client, or I can restore it to the original directory or alternate directories. These things are all also um, configurable through role-based access control. That is awesome, Tony. I was going to say, uh, you know, I'm glad you mentioned the role-based access control. I know we're going we're gonna to get into that in a, a following video, but I like to dabble. I like to mess around. You have a lot of admin privileges here. There's definitely a way to lock me out of getting access to things I shouldn't while still being able to recover to those primary or secondary locations. There is. And our role-based access control is uh, industry standard. So you can do it at a very granular level. You can only see the things that you can... Uh, you should see, and you also should only do the things that you're able to do. So we can limit whether or not, like in that previous wizard screen, whether you can restore to uh, the same host or an alternate host, and, and whether or not you can restore to uh, this, the uh, same directory or an alternate directory. That's awesome. Yeah, it is. It's very powerful. So... Here, uh, the restore, you can go review all the things that you've done uh, and then kick it off. You can see what, what you're restoring and all the different options you chose there and kick it off. And in a couple minutes, you'll get your file restored. Well, that is amazingly simple. Thank you for showing us that, Tony. I never knew uh, a granular restore from a cloud vendor it could be as easy as putting things in a shopping cart and clicking recover. So thank you again for sharing this with us today, Tony. I feel, I feel educated and I feel like it's a, a much less daunting process than I assumed it would be beforehand. And thank you for joining us today and checking out this demo in our Across Every Cloud video series. If you're curious to see more of what we're up to, be sure to check out the rest of the videos in the series. Thanks.